Hi everyone, welcome back to Dynamics 5 Academy YouTube channel. Dynamics 5 Academy brings you video course on Dynamics 5, Power Apps, Azure and then Microsoft 365. So in this video we are going to talk about how we can create a very simple app within Power Apps using which we can just link that with SharePoint. So the app is basically going to connect to SharePoint as a data source and then every time when you are creating a new record within the system it will store that detail in SharePoint. I also have recorded another video where we are creating a simple power apps using Excel as a data source. In this particular case we are going to create an app which is connecting to SharePoint as the data source. So every time when you are entering a detail within the app that will be stored in SharePoint list as a new record. It will create a new list item. I can search for the records, edit them, I can make use of it. So this is a very simple app to start with. So I'll share my screen, show you how I can access Power Apps and also how I can just create an app using SharePoint. So stay tuned. So here I am in my Power Apps Maker account. So I'm trying to create a new app in Power Apps portal using which I can connect to SharePoint. So SharePoint is going to be my data source. I can add details into my app, then I can display them, I can search them, I can delete them, edit them, etc. End of the day, SharePoint is going to be my data source and Power Apps will be my friend end. So I'm going to create that. So I am on my portal. I just go to the create option where I, where I get the option to create from data. So I'm just going to click SharePoint because that is the data source I'm going to utilize. So within my SharePoint account, I have different details over here, right? So I do have a folder for account detail where I can see I do have the list of all the account details are here. Then I have tweets are here, enquiry list. So I do have a set of folders for different Dynamics 5 details are here or any other details for that matter. So now I'm trying to create an app which will be connected to my SharePoint account. So it will display the list of all the accounts or all the activities or all the enquiries or all the tweets, whatever it is inside my list. So I can decide to which list I need to connect to. So once it is open up, I'm trying to select my SharePoint account from there I select my SharePoint list and then I can make the app. So here it is asking me to create an app in my sandbox organization. So it is giving me the option to connect. So it is asking me to connect to an, I mean SharePoint or OneDrive or Dataverse. So I'm going to select SharePoint over here. So it is showing me the recent sites over here, which is making things are easier. Then I have a lot of list are here. One is account list, inquiry list, leave, request and etc. I'm going to select the first one. Then click create. Then it will take a minute just to connect with the SharePoint list. Once it is done, my app is ready. It will all happen in a matter of a minute. Once the app is ready, then I can make use of it. I can run the app and I can start entering details into my SharePoint list. Or I can edit them or I can even edit the app. So let's wait for it. There you go. So I got my app created. I got a browse screen, detail screen and edit screen. Okay. So within the browse screen, I got a gallery. This is the gallery and data sources account list. Yeah. And then it has uh, many other comments added over here. I can customize this for sure. I can customize it. Then I got the detail screen where I can see the details form, how the details will be displayed, which I can customize of course. I can edit the fields, which all the fields should be displayed. Now it is showing this many fields, right? I can edit the fields from here. If I need to add any other field, now it is showing account name, territory, number of employees, etc. If I need to add a new field, I can click add here. Then I can add created by, or oh, let me see what other thing I can add over here. And then click add here. So I just add one field over here into the detail screen so that got added created by that's a change I have made and then uh, I have the edit screen also this is what the edit screen will appear this is the edit form so if I want to make any changes to this I can do that account name territory employee number and attachment so I don't need the attachment over here I believe so I can remove that First of all, I need to unlock it, go to advanced, unlock this field, 
there we go then I can remove it I can remove the entire comment attachments that I made changes and finally I just run it all right I can simply save this after I made the changes Control S, that will change the app. Okay, so I need to save it. So I'll say like account details, account details, account share point. Oops, share point. Save it. So I'm just saving the app to Power Apps which will be on the cloud go that save I'll come back here by clicking here and then what I can do is I can run this app okay so I'll go to the first window over here at the sc browse screen and then I have to run it so once I run it what I'm seeing over here I'm seeing the list of account details inside my SharePoint folder. I got ABB Corp, I got Britannia UTK Limited. So once I click on it, it will go to the details form. Yep. I can edit it, make the changes, or what I can do is I can create a new account record. So here I say, uh, BPC limited BPC testing limited I believe that's the name territory Europe employees 27,000 and created date when is the account code created I would select yesterday date click OK and I save it I believe it will let me save it so once I save the record that will be here so now I can search for it here I simply search for it so there you go so that is the simplest SharePoint app I can create over here all I did is I created a list in SharePoint and then I created a power apps within my power apps portal connecting the SharePoint list as the data source so that when I'm adding a new record or a new account into my list that will be added to my SharePoint list I can edit it update it delete it I can list it sort it all that I can do now I do have this app which is customizable now if I want to add more screens here I can do it I can update them I can do it I can just change the layout change the color everything I can do once I made the changes I can just save the app and then I can run it and finally I can publish the app in another video I will show you how you can publish the app and how you can make it available to all your users and etc so just to summarize in this video we have seen how you can create a simple SharePoint app with the help of Power Apps and Dynamtos file. If you have any questions or comment you can mention that in the comment box or if you have any suggestion you can mention that as well. I believe this video is useful to you. If you like to see more videos similar to this one you can subscribe to Dynamtos file channel and you can learn more about Dynamtos file. Have a good day. Take care. Bye bye.